G'day and welcome back to OS First Timer. In this episode, Diana will be trying out Calibri OS as requested by one of our Patreon supporters known as Placebo. Anyway, this fast operating system may seem small, but it's packed with over 30 games. Will Diana be able to beat any of them? Keep watching to find out. So here you are on the Calibri OS desktop. Basically what you're looking at is a tiny yet extremely powerful and fast operating system. It only requires a few megabytes of disk space and 8 megabytes of RAM to run. And it's got a full set of applications like a word processor, image processor, graphical editor, web browser and well over 30 exciting games. So it's pretty, it's pretty cool isn't it? I like the fact it's lightweight because, I mean, that indicates that it's going to start up quickly. It's not going to lag or be slow. Yes, and it basically says, have you ever dreamed of a system that boots in less than 10 seconds I have. power on? I've dreamed of a system <laughs> that boots in less than 10 seconds, yes. Um, to a working GUI on a PC worth only $100. Wow, that's pretty good. Basically, applications start instantly, immediately after clicking an icon without an annoying hourglass point or anything. Now, the reason they have Or a spinning it, wheel. Mm. The reason that. it's all so instant and they've achieved it is basically because the core parts of Calibri OS, the kernel and drivers, are written entirely in FASM, assembly language. Mm -hmm. So basically they say, try it on the same computer, try Calibri OS, and compare it with heavy operating systems such as Windows and Linux. Okay. See, so they say Windows and Linux are heavy things. That's why you should use this instead of Windows and Linux. But obviously Windows and Linux are heavy for a reason. Yeah. So obviously you can't run everything on this. Or exactly. Or there's, there's a reason why yeah. they're heavy. Exactly. I mean, otherwise Windows would have made it as lightweight as possible and mm. so would Linux. Yeah. Okay. Now you are going to do the five basic tasks in okay. this operating system. So first of all, what time is it? Can you uh, use a computer as a clock basically? Yes. Uh, 2.26. Fantastic. Right Can you write? Now, the funny thing about this is, for those who don't know how OS First Timer works, we've actually got a camera up in the screen, so Diana generally can't see what's up in the middle of the screen, and it's almost like that person knew that Diana can't see what's in the middle of the <laughs> screen. Because the camera's so the, right there yeah. in the middle of so the screen. So they've got the icons in each and corner of the screen. Look, the icon's up in that corner, this yeah. corner, that corner, and, and that corner. And I can just see the clock <laughs> there, so there's nothing that the camera's blocking. It's like, so it's like yeah, the icons will arrange it. So they They've arranged it for the purpose of, OS of First Timer. Me testing like. out the operating system with a camera in front. Anyway, so <laughs> next up. Okay. You are now going to try and write, save, open and delete a text document. Now, okay. I want to use Tiny, tiny pad, pad. Okay. Because double, that sounds double -click really Now, do you know that... There's also... Oh, no, that's a reason. This is a virtual machine, so things do run slower in virtual machine. Anyway, okay. go. Tiny it's pad. There so it is. Instantly. Even no in loading. a virtual machine, it doesn't it's, lag. It's fast, yeah. Okay. I think you actually opened it twice, to be honest. Oh, because I double click. Yeah, I think it's what well, we, we can test it. Fast. Okay, it's fast. There we go. And what are you going to save it as? I'm going to save. Oh, where is the yes? You can just do save because <laughs> it's the first time you're saving it. Okay, so you're going to save name. it. Oh, example. I like that. Dot I'm ASM. Gonna, I'm going to save it as example. I like that. Okay, you saved it as an example.asm in the sys folder. Where's the sys folder? Well, you saved it there. Oh, I wasn't thinking. Well, now you're going to have to go <laughs> oh, find no. it. So where do you think their file browser is? How come it doesn't Whoops. close? Oh, there was multiple ones There open. was. It doesn't matter. Okay. It's gone. So, where is it? Hey, wait a sec, wait a sec. Let me think. Is it in this? You opened file. it twice again. You just need one click to I open know. it. It's such an addictive, you know, It like is thing. a double click. Thing. Okay, so you apparently saved it in the sys folder. Well, there are all the folders Oh, wait, I already top. see it. This is about actually probably the sys folder. Yeah, system. You're oh, in that it. is it. So example is somewhere in here. Yeah, I know. Wait, I'm just going to find it. Let me go down. Well, it's not that hard to find. Now it's going to be hard to find. So you might Tiny pad. Oh, wait a sec. Where is it? Oh, example. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> so it was, it was up there. There it is. Fast. So there we go. Fast. Okay, so you can close all, all of All of the ones that I've opened. Whoops, you missed it. Yeah, there you okay. go. There we go. Well, you didn't delete it though. Oh. <laughs> Well, it's gone. <laughs> well, you no. can get it gone. No, not oh, tiny bad. And you no. double-clicked again. <laughs> oh, I can't get 
computer. Okay. One yeah. click. There we okay. go. Well, technically, now, it should be one click. Right click example. I mean, yeah, because why do you need to double click? And there we go. I've right clicked example and I'm now deleting delete. it. And do you really want to delete it? Oh, come on. Delete. Don't ask it's that. Gone. You're supposed to be fast. Okay. We're so, supposed to get rid of the double clicking and. So next up. Get rid of the are you sure? And, <laughs> next up, can you calculate what is 1.87 divided by 6.84. Okay, 1.87. Use it. Oh, Click. you have to use that. Okay. 1.87 divided by 84. I don't like all the point and zeros. I know, and it's got lots of zeros. I, I just like so, to make up the space. So, so, so there yeah, we so go. 0.27339. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. There we go. Uh, can you change the desktop background? Well, I'm just going to assume that I right click background. Ah, so this works. Let's have a look. Gradient. You've made a gradient background. A noisy noisy background. background. So noisy is fuzzy. So you choose a colour and then you gradient. want it to be a gradient. No, I want noisy. But what And colour? which one do I want? Let me think. Or you can just move those little bars up and down. See the red, green and blue if you want a bit more blue in it or a bit more red. Um, but you actually have to click noisy once you've chosen it. See? Oh, yeah. So yeah, a noisy, yeah. that's a quite a noisy green. And if you add a bit of blue, it would be a, a bluish, light bluish one, you see. I oh, don't worry about that last thing. That doesn't really no, do anything. Yeah. I want a bit more red as well. If you add RGB, like red, full uh, red, green and blue, it makes white. I'm just going to um, be too pink. Let's tone down the red. Purple. It's a purple colour now. <laughs> You're going to play around with this for ages. What made you choose a noisy background as opposed to a gradient, by the I way? I like it. Okay. I'm more of a gradient person Okay, myself. look, this blue will do. <laughs> but okay. Well, there we go. You have changed the desktop background. Hmm. So you can close that now. Um, the last task is turn off your computer, but before we do that, because I mean, this has got, as it said, over 30 games, how about you try some, try some, and uh, did you notice all the tasks were basically on the desktop for you? Yeah, That was like really good. quick, it's like tiny pad, calculator, file yeah, browser, all there. it's all there. Um, so what game do you think you might try? Um, let's have a look. Th these are the games, I'm assuming. Well, there's some of them. Well, why, but why pack, why not put all the games together? Oh, and there's some more, mine, I want to do the mine, because I like Oh, no, mine. but you, you know mine, so but try something you haven't tried before it has to be something you haven't oh, tried you so double, you can create oh you no double that's click. right <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i just thought when you move one it creates another no. one that's that's fine this isn't sea windows wall. 93 <laughs> anyway, okay i'm gonna open seawall that's a little that's not part of seawall that's a little feature oh wow so it's like oh, your what's own little this? oh that's where you want to put your battleships okay so oh click where you want i to don't them. know we'll just put them anywhere in your little thing not in that person. That's the computer's one. Okay, well, there you go. There's your battleships. Okay. You auto-filled it. So now I think you have to click in the computer's area. Where do you think the computer has their battleships? Not there. And they've they've destroyed yours, see? Oh, so why you're... have they done that? Oh, there, you got one. You got one bit of... Oh, you got another one. But every time you get it wrong, it's his turn. You get it? And he has a quick turn. Oh, he's destroyed two of yours so far. Remember that sometimes the ships might be, like, joined together. Like, you okay. know, they might be three long. Yep, you got that one. Oh, yeah, down a bit. Yes, there you go. You got his... Oh, he's starting to get yours. No, once it goes grey, that means you've got the whole ship. Do you get it? Some ships are only one block. Oh, okay, yes. And, oh, that's a big one. Ah, oh, at the bottom, there you go. That one's gone. So, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten ships. You've gotten rid of four so far. He's gotten five of yours, and you've gotten four of his. Oh, there you go. You got rid of one little one there. That's it. It's gone grey. So, that was the only one there. Oh, oh you've only got three left. He's bad. You've got two left. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Where is he hiding them? He's really hidden them. Oh, you've got one left. He just needs to click one more. Oh. Oh, there you go. You found one of his. You're gone. CPU you one. He found it. There you go. Well, of course he's going to know where mine are. <laughs> anyway, okay. you can always try another one. Maybe flood it. What's flood it? No, no. Kosilka. Doesn't really look like that one's in English. This is a Russian operating system. Okay. Well. Enter. It says in Russian. So How do you know enter. that says enter? Because it says enter after the Russian word. Oh, I didn't see it. <laughs> um, okay. I don't really get this. Neither do I. No, I'm guessing. You use this. Look, oh. You're a lawnmower. <laughs> it looked like a lawnmower, didn't it? What? So you're a lawnmower and you have to try and, um, do you have to do it all? Maybe. That doesn't, just something about this does not seem very exciting. How about you choose another one? Because this... Well, if you're a garden enthusiast, it may be quite exciting. Why wouldn't you just do your oh, own oh, garden? Oh. I would just go up and oh, down. No. Just do it like that. Oh, no. <laughs> what? You might have to... 
I might be stuck now. Oh, oh that's it. You got so to do it all in one hit. Ch- I see. Okay, I, I would actually do that again. I actually worked it out, even though it's not in English. <laughs> it's so logical that it's easy to work out. Uh, okay. If yeah, if you go down, up, down, that'll work. The other method works too, but this is much better. It's faster, yeah. Yeah. Looks like a little Pac-Man. Pac-Man. But he's eating grass, grass. instead of. It's not. I can't. What? Are you stuck? No, I'm not stuck. Oh, you scared me for a second. I was thinking either you got stuck or my computer froze. And I was like, oh no. Or this looks complicated. You don't have to keep looking at the keyboard. You should know where the keys are. How is this going to work? <laughs> I don't know, but it's got to work. I don't know, but it's got to work. Oh, I know how it works. Oh, wait, yeah. Easy. Down. That way. I yes! Must, I must say, though, I couldn't quite call this the most thrilling game ever. It's a peaceful game. Because sometimes you just... I don't know. Maybe this is good before bed to put you to sleep. It's a bit dull if you ask me. I'm going to admit. Yeah, and then you've got the perfect... Man. That just seems so easy, though. Don't think that winning this makes you just some expert or something. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to laugh if you get to the end and you stuff it up somehow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've stuffed it. Oh, no. Oh, no, you haven't, actually. No, you haven't. You can go down, and as long as you go that and up. Wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Maybe. Ah, stop. Maybe I haven't stuffed it. Wait a second. Oh, you lucky. You did oh, it. I did, did it. it. There you go. I did it. You finished Yay! it. Congratulations. <laughs> wow, this is a very slow... Even no, this is good because it does make you think and, you it know... It makes you think that's what most guys Okay, well, yeah, that's, that's enough there. That there you go. Do. It's a bit slow paced. Just, yeah. I just want to see what fill it is. What fill it? Fill it. Flood it, I mean. Quit flood that because you opened the game twice once again. <laughs> just... <laughs> What's flood it? Okay, what does flood it do? It's a new, new game. Let's do a new game. Okay, so... Fill the whole board with one colour within the allocated steps. So you start from the top left corner and progress by selecting one of the coloured buttons on the left. <gasps> oh, I see. So this is what you are. Now, what do you want to turn this colour to? I'd say pink. Now, that makes us pink. Now, let's get suck up the red. Red. Now, let's turn oh. green. Now, let's turn blue to suck oh, up the yeah, blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, let's turn... Um, what's another colour with a lot of things? Oh, there isn't really any colour with a lot of things. Do the pink. Red. And now green. And oh, then well, pink. Oh, that's quite interesting. And then blue. And then pink again to get that. And then the yellow. Anyway, do you want to go No, no, that? no, purple. Yes, I want to continue. You try it, you try it. Oh, I want no, to try continue it. from there. No, no, because I've missed... You want to get 26 clicks, though. Oh, really? You've got to do it within 26 clicks. And you start there. Yeah, you start there. So, you're pink right now. What are you going to turn into? That. For a lightweight operating system, you've got to admit it includes a lot of little games, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so you've done 3 out of 25 so far. Yeah, Four I don't like my chances. I think this is a real thinky. Yeah, you've really got to think ahead. Yeah. But I'm looking blue and red is what I'm thinking. Blue, red. So blue first, then red. Because think if you get blue, you'll get that. And then if you do red, you'll get that and that. You get it? <laughs> anyway, you've done 9 out of 25. No more hints now. I'll just leave you to it. Oh, this is, this is actually Because quite... you're like halfway through and it's like, yeah. oh, no. This is on a small board. Imagine a large board. No way. <laughs> you've got four clicks left. I oh, know. I don't <laughs> think it's I'm going to do one. it. That's like one of the challengingest things. <laughs> Who could beat this? Uh, there you go. I'll you could with a lot of practice. No. Nah. Oh, you got fail. fail. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. <laughs> um, oh, but that's still a quite a fun game. Yeah, I, I just wonder what the large board size would look like. Let's say large. Oh, oh look no, at that! But you have fifty clips. You have fifty, but that looks okay. hard. Okay, no, forget anyway, it. Anyway, that is that. Just down a few. Can I just say I like the debug, and it's got a picture of a bug and a <laughs> red. That's uh-huh. really cute. What is yeah. that for? That's for debugging. Uh, it's even got a DOS box on it to run DOS stuff. No, who it's got would the want game to do of that? it's got the game of life, which is pretty cool to have that. Um, that's pretty awesome. Um, uh, it's got 3D heart. Seriously, a heart that is 3D, <laughs> and it's got um, the globe. Oh, look at that! It's got the world. Rotate. How do you rotate with Y and X? Well, you have fun, you rotating cube. <laughs> I don't know how you rotate it. Um, but anyway, it, it, see how it's just got, like, a bunch of... Mm. And you open this menu. It's even got... Emu- you can even run Game Boy games on it and Super Nintendo Entertainment. It's, it's just got so many things in here. Multimedia... It's pretty good programs. for a lightweight operating I mean, system, it, From it? what I could see, it was, like, um 60 megabytes or something was the yeah. ISO file. It's like, wow. Oh, look at all these games it's got. Chess and Quake and Doom and all these things. I just can't believe how much in Snake, you know, Snake. Mm. I just—it's just endless. What's Dog Pack? 
Doc oh no, Park. Doc, Doc Pack, I think. I just don't believe that it actually has Doom, so I'm just seeing if Doom actually runs. It essentially has Doom. It's a Doom. So is... you did the double click too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see? It's yeah, really but it wasn't, hard. It wasn't an icon. It doesn't um, matter. Okay, just forget Doom. I kind of. Yeah, let's just quit. I messed it up. Why? Okay. Oh, there, there we go. It does work. Um. Yeah, there you go. See, this is a 1993. And what's Doc Pack? There's endless all stuff. Things. There but is. What are en- those things? I don't know. We will just. Uh, you could spend your whole life trying to investigate this. For, op- a, for a lightweight operating system, it sure has a lot of stuff. It sure does. Exactly. I mean, even um, it's got this panels thing, soften, and you can change the panel height and stuff. It's got a lot of like settings here too. I mean, yeah, it's it's just got a lot of stuff. Let me just go I to did the double click again. Whether they do the no, background. It's that oh, just that. Um, an appearance. What are all these different things? Circles. Oh, look, it's made it red and stuff. Oh, look at that. Mm-hmm. Different, like a red. See, the, yeah, the yeah. things are different. Oh, and see, like a metal thing and circles, and I keep yeah. clicking the same ones for some reason. Oh, I like that one. Yeah. Do you like that? That, like, a little metal look? Anyway, that is Calibri. I just can't believe how many different things it includes in it. There we go. That was Calibri OS. Uh, can you now turn off the computer and you are done? Okay. Um, what is it? Get out of that. So to turn off the computer, I was assuming I go to menu, shut down. Okay. So, so you can go kernel, reboot, or... Power off. Power off. Boom, you're there done. There we go. So what did you think of Calibri OS? Was it fast? Well, let's just say it was definitely fast. But how fast would it be once you start putting all your files and putting all the stuff onto it? How laggy will it be then? Well, well I guess it would still be faster than your current operating system because your current operating system is heavier to begin with. But then again, it wouldn't be compatible with that much mm. stuff. I mean, and it's written in this assembly language and stuff like that so mm. I mean it, I still think it's pretty good for what it is I mean this is the kind of thing you could imagine you, your kid says I really really want a computer really 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 want a computer mm. yeah you, you go to the shop you buy the absolute cheapest one out there and you put and, and on your it. kids now got a super fast computer and all the other kids are thinking why is your computer so fast and, and all so cheap and stuff yeah. <laughs> you no. know what I mean so I mean that I could I could see that you know, useful. Or maybe there's an old computer, someone's chucked it out, this is too slow, everything's so slow on it, and it's like, mm. we'll just put Calibri OS on it. No, I can see the potential in it, and it's a good idea. But the statement, ever dreamed of booting up in 10 seconds, I mean, yeah, definitely. So... Yeah. My, my computer's like three years old, and it's still, because it's got a solid state drive, it still boots in 10, se- uh, well, not 10, probably about 15 to 20. Yeah. But it still boots really quick. Talking about computers, I will be getting a new computer. I haven't decided on the the exact one yet Mainly but definitely a, a one terabyte solid state drive okay and the reason uh, my she's alienware is Lenovo. fine she's looking at the lenovo that's supposed to be a secret no she's looking because we're the going lenovo to do a review 910 of yoga it. and i've just as a laptop anyway it's not that my computer is failing me it's just my computer's getting a little bit slow my alienware but ben desperately needs it's a new computer got a hard disk drive. i know but ben desperately needs a, a new computer know, because he's currently using he's currently using philip's old one from when philip was in high school so he's gonna inherit my alienware and i'm going to get a new one ben's which... still using a 2009 macbook white 13 inch yeah like... and every time he clicks a, a button he has to go and do it's something for 30, 30 seconds yeah, or a minute 30, this is literally just <laughs> to open like your menu you click on like the search bar it's 30 and seconds. then it has a spinning wheel or a little hourglass thing and he's thinking oh okay I'm g- that's going to be at least a minute video. or you so you can't even watch YouTube videos no he it. watches a few They're seconds laggy. it pauses he has to wait the internet's fine it's it's loading the video it's just the video's laggy so you're watching it and it's like about 5 frames a second yeah so anyway the audio's okay that's about <laughs> it anyway okay. we'll see you in the next episode of OS First Timer see ya <laughs>